Next, Next up, up, we, we got, got how to make smooth transitions on After Effects. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. So look, bro. Um, so I just woke up, I just woke up, right, and if I don't record this video right now, y'all not getting the video. We're gonna start by going on Instagram, because I have no pictures to edit. Okay, first of all, this goes for videos and pictures, but I'm gonna just do pictures, because it's like a still image, you know what I'm saying, like, um, yeah. So we're gonna go to Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Just because, um, just because, damn, stop asking questions. We're gonna go over the uh, explore page, see who we can edit. That picture fire, not gonna lie. Guys, should I take a picture like that? I really think I should. That's a good ass idea for an edit. Like, you mask this out and then the, it goes in. Yo, this picture is fire. If you guys don't know, ghost face, bro. Ghost face, bro. You may or may not know what I'm gonna talk about right now. I don't know, I just never... I don't think I've seen like a tutorial about this before. Um, and it's the keyframe placement, so let me show you. So before you do any transitions, make sure you have a comp layer. Uh, otherwise, if it's not comped as you can see, and you try and do like a spin, it seems like it's all weird and stuff, you know, so comp your layers. Okay, so for this transition, it's just gonna be a zoom in or zoom out. So you probably like I already do this all the time. You probably do, and I do too. Bro. But the thing is, like, I'm gonna show you how to make it extra, extra smooth. Cause not a lot of people know about this. So basically, as on your keyboard for to bring up scale, you put the keyframe right there, and then you go to the end. And normally you would uh just go like this. Let's say like this. Or if you put motion top, if you put motion top, then it's gonna be something like this, right? You easy ease, and then just do like a normal graph right and it it turns like this now that's not bad but the thing is i don't know if you can see right here the keyframe is not all the way back now if you put it back as you can see it's not gonna go as in it's not gonna go as how do i say it it's not gonna get smaller so you're gonna have to this frame already i don't know how to explain it bro i'm like this is so difficult to explain i'm, I'm trying bro so look listen this is the last frame, but technically over here should be the end, right? But if you go over here, then the next clip shows up. Most people would be like, oh, so that means the uh, that means the keyframe just needs to be right here because it doesn't even matter because it doesn't show it. But it actually does matter. Um, if we turn on motion blur, as you can see, it's not blurred right. So it's going to look a little bit choppy. So for example, right here is one still frame of this like really bad motion blur so to prevent that get the last keyframe and put it all the way to the end now what i do and what i recommend y'all doing is going to this frame and making it even lower even going to the negative usually people do it to zero so it starts from 100 to zero but i go into the negatives right so if we go to the graph graphs really matter a lot and a lot of people um should Pay more attention to that if you want your edits to look sm more smooth then fix your graphs i would make a uh tutorial about graphs but there's so many like tutorials out there i'm pretty sure i mean they don't they probably don't teach it like me you know what i'm saying boom as you can see now it's smooth but now the motion tile it's a little bit like it's not right so we gotta bring this up if you bring it over a thousand it like it messes with stuff so i just keep it at 900 and boom there's no still frame of like nothing you, you know so now for this one is going to be the opposite so scale bring this over here and then for this one you just scale it down now a lot of people 
scale it like this and that's it but i go all the way in like the the distance between your keyframes depend on how fast your zoom in is gonna be but also it depends on your graphs so um once you do this you easy ease f9 if you don't know how to do that just right click or select these two right click keyframe assistant easy ease, as you can see it's f9 and then we're gonna go over to um the graph and the graph i use is this one it's a really tight pause it's a little it's a little tight graph pause that don't, that don't sound right okay and then i'm gonna enable motion blur and as you can see it's pretty bad <laughs> it's like it's not as smooth and i'm gonna tell you why so right here when it starts there's no motion blur there is motion blur but like the motion blur is really really like not noticeable until like the second frame so the reason i put it to like a thousand usually i choose like 100 and 900 but we're gonna get these keyframes and put it one frame back boom it's really smooth as you can see if you're curious about my motion blur settings i know a lot of people um have asked me this in the past not a lot of people know that you can change your motion blur settings so basically go to uh composition composition settings and then go to advanced and then this right here is what well this whole thing right here basically is your motion blur settings so if you want to copy them go ahead now what i do is i don't just keep it this way what i do is add uh rsmb so rsmb stands for real smart motion blur <laughs> rsmb is a plugin by the way uh, i forgot to say that so to use it you can select both clips and then comp them type rsmb and then bring it to your clip uh these are my motion blur settings if you're curious my blur amount is 0 0.60 and then my motion sensitivity is 100 you can mess with these if you want okay so now we're moving on to a spin for a spin you always want to use motion tile unless you want black background press r for rotation get the same keyframe and put it a little bit more back the further away the slower your transition is going to be but the smoother if that makes sense it also don't put it all the way like over here over here usually people do 180 and then that's it right and then they do what what they gotta do like this but for me, what I do, bro, I boost this you up all the way to like real. one. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't have like a specific number. You know, I just I just get the values and bump that like really high. You know, and then we're gonna do the same thing right here. We're gonna get this keyframe as you can see. The motion blur is really bad right here, and then we're gonna put it to the end. And boom, look at that. And then for this one, don't forget about the motion tile. And then you're gonna do the same thing. But the opposite like the opposite direction so go over here and instead of going positive you're gonna go negative and instead of just keeping it like this i go one frame back at the motion blur and boom and yeah i hope you guys have a nice day hope you guys learned something i really appreciate you guys supporting my content um it really means a lot 53 percent of the people who watch me aren't subscribed like you already coming back to my videos so like just subscribe bro like it's free bro like it's free just subscribe that i gave you i gave you what you wanted <laughs> you not you don't give me what i wanted but it's stuff to eat and you don't <gasps> stab me over some pizza are you serious you gonna kill <gasps> me over some pizza yes uh yeah I'll see you guys next time. I already said that, but hey. Deuces. Damn, I think that's perfect. That's perfect.